My name is Shay Zixanota, and I'm the founder of No More Under. I founded No More Under um, almost five years ago now. Um, my son Yori drowned in a backyard pool um, in 2018, and it felt very important for me to tell everyone that this is a completely preventable death. Um, drowning happens to be the number one reason that children one to four pass away, and I didn't know that and I didn't know how many of my peers knew that. So I went into Scream It from the rooftops and that is why I originally founded No More Under. And now we really focus on water safety um, through tools, through swimming lessons, through legislation uh, to really create equitable access to swimming um, and swimming skills. I truly believe that swimming should be a right um, it's something that everyone should have access to and it should be something that everyone understands how to be safe around water. I guess it's been a year that we've been doing swim lessons um, for under-resourced families. So basically we connect with low-income housing, um, tree house, various organizations that work with the communities that we'd like to support and we make sure that they have free swim lessons in facilities like we're in right now um, or the YMCA. So we've been partnering a lot with various organizations that work with our constituents and then can support um, our constituents. There was, uh, I think he was like 11 years old actually, this young man, and he did not want to jump in. Um, he had a life jacket on, there were uh, instructors waiting for him saying hey jump in we've got you and he was terrified and i just stood there and held his hand on the pool deck and we just talked through it and talked through how jumping in isn't just about the water it's about life and like learning and taking chances and knowing you're supported he eventually jumped in and it's like moments like that where you see you've you've shifted something in someone that it's what it's about. There's so many barriers to swimming. Um, it's super expensive. There's a huge wait list. We don't have a ton of pools, honestly, here in our area. And then you have the cultural piece as well, whether that's fear or people have moved in and just don't have that even awareness of water. And so really some of what we're doing is working to figure out how we can break down barriers. We're giving transportation vouchers, if that's challenging. We're doing lessons at different times so that parents are able to come after work or is it during the work day because they work overnight. So really it's so important to be able to, um, again, meet people where they're at and give them access and understand what their barriers are and address those. I didn't know necessarily prior to starting this organization the difference between restricted and unrestricted funds. And it is amazing, obviously, when we get money for lessons or loaner stations or life jackets, but it does take the back end work to get all of those things in motion and done. The opportunity to get this grant would be huge for us. Um, and just, there's so much work and effort that goes into getting funding. Um, and just having, honestly, a moment to breathe and be able to get the work done and know that we might be okay for a little bit. Um, honestly, just that moment of peace is um, huge and would really make an impact on our organization and the kids and families that we serve.